Speaking in Malaysia. Malaysians fighting alongside About Islamist the, militants in Syria nothing. appear in a YouTube video. <laughs> this 45-year-old religious scholar, Lotfi Arifin, had thousands of Malaysian followers on Facebook, plus fan pages dedicated to following his exploits. It was on Facebook that people first learned he had been killed in combat. In Iraq, another Malaysian blew himself up, killing 25 policemen. Since early last year, Malaysian authorities have been trying to stop people from joining groups like Islamic State. Police Counter-Terrorism Unit Deputy Director Ayub Khan says he's worried about more than the harm they can cause in Syria and Iraq. They're also planning to carry out attack in Malaysia against Malaysia government. Because for them, Malaysia is not Islamic government. It's okay to topple the Malaysia through armed struggle. So that's the main objective. The same objective that we, uh, what has been uh, preached by this Islamic State. Earlier this year, Malaysian police arrested several people intending to join up with Islamic State militants and who had also talked about attacking targets like nightclubs in Malaysia. Last week, they nabbed another three people as they prepared to head to Syria. Jufitri Joha of the Muslim Youth Movement of Malaysia uh, says his group is trying to help convince young Muslims not to join the so-called jihad. We stress that this is not your priority, your priority. If you want to help them, you should join the humanitarian mission, sending foods, aids, release the pain suffered by the refugees, by the internally displaced people. That is your priority. Jufitri says young Muslims here are attracted by the name and concept of Islamic State. But police say the would-be jihadists are also keen to fight against the Shia, seeing them as heretics and therefore legitimate targets. Malaysian political scientist Chandra Muzaffa says authorities in the Sunni Muslim country share the blame for fueling such sectarian thinking. It is obvious that uh, there is a strong anti-Shia element in uh, religious propaganda in Malaysia. And this is emanating from the religious establishment, from certain elements in political parties, from NGOs, from uh, various other groups. Police say they are closely monitoring social media, which they say are the militants' main recruiting ground. Aside from trying to stop Malaysians from linking up with groups like Islamic State, it's police say that if any of them return, they will be arrested immediately. Mahi Ramakrishnan for VOA News, Kuala Lumpur. Or speak anything about Syria, about... Welcome to Jihad in Suri. I hope...